hokey my. Welcome back to the 2023 national finale of The Big Sing. God, you've already started, which sounds fabulous. Leading off, here we go, for the second half. Leading off the second half of tonight's concert is Leonessa from Takapuna Grammar School. So let me tell you what they've chosen to sing. This is an arrangement of a hymn or an imene called Fakateri Teri from the Tuamoto Islands in French Polynesia. The imene was modernized by Clint Mariterangi and arranged especially for Leonessa by Kiani Taruiapora. The soloists for this piece are Mariah Parker and Malia Faulalo, and the choir is joined by a traditional Tahitian and Cook Island string band formed by Grand Mataora. The choir is extremely grateful for all of those who've been a part of this journey and they are honored to have the opportunity to sing this piece. Please welcome Leonessa and the conductor, Elise Bradley.
Alrighty, our next performance comes from Euphony, and they are the senior upper voice choir from Christen School in Albany, North Auckland. And tonight they'll perform Come Un Sacchetto, a work by Korean composer Hun Kuk. The text is by Italian poet Todarello, and the translation is, my heart is like a bag of tissue paper full of snow when you are nearby. My heart is like two butterflies dancing a ballet in the early morning when you are nearby. My heart is like a frozen padlock without the key when you are far away. Would you please welcome pianist John Kim, director David Squire, and Euphony.
Our next choir is Rafiti from Wellington East Girls College. It's my old school. <laughs> will be performing, they'll be performing a traditional waiata nei rā te kaupapa. Rāwhiti love performing in te reo Māori and have been privileged to work with the kaiāwhina in e te kawa Thompson Laulu on this waiata. They'll be accompanied by Lachlan Craig on guitar. Would you please welcome Rāwhiti and their director, Penelope Isaac. <laughs> Rafiti. All right, our next choir is Cantare, and they are the premier. <laughs> Good 
Cantare at the premier treble voice choir at Westlake Girls High School, and they're directed by Head of Department Fiona Wilson. The choir's pianist is Kathy Bennett, and their vocal consultant is James Harrison. Cantare have shared concerts with the New Zealand Symphony Orchestra, Auckland Philharmonia Orchestra, Auckland Choral Society, and North Shore Brass Band. Tonight, they will perform She Weeps Over Rahoon by Eric Whiteacre, featuring Cor Anglais soloist Alison Dunlop. The evocative poem by James Joyce describes the barren desolation of a deep winter in northern Nevada. Cantare.
Hoi hoi. So it has been 20 years since a choir from Manurewa High School has made it to the Big Sing finale. So let me tell you, let me tell you, kia ora, kia ora, let me tell you about this choir. Rewaken Polycation Choir made it to the Upper North Island Cadenza in Norotorua. With perseverance, their ultimate goal was to get to the finale one day. So you made your ultimate goal, e ma. This year, that dream has come true as they navigate on their journey to the top with one band, one sound, one whanau, one love. Rewaken Re Polycation is directed by Lea Aisola Vuna, and they're going to perform his arrangement of a Tongan song of worship my money oku fuck offer.
everybody, our next choir is Altissime from Samuel Marston Collegiate in Wellington. And this choir is celebrating 10 years under the direction of Mikey Christie Bakeman. Tonight, they've chosen to perform Mihi by David Hamilton, a piece with a text in both Te Reo and English that reflects the devastation of the Christchurch earthquake and the grief and loss of the people. Altissime.
wonderful singing continues with Bel Canto. They are the senior treble choir from Burnside High School in Ōtautahi. The choir was formed nearly 40 years ago. It was formed by Jean Cumming and in 2004 was handed over to its current director, Sue Densom, who was a former student of Jean's at Burnside. Bel Canto has a long history of attendance at the Big Sing finale and they're delighted and proud to be invited back again. Tonight, they'll sing Jacobin Poyat, Jacob and Sons, by the Finnish composer Pekka Kostiainen. The text is based on the various names of Jacob's sons in the biblical tale. So let's hear it for Bel Canto.
our next choir is made up of singers from Wellington College and Wellington Girls College. They're called Ngā Korimako, and they're an audition choir in only its second year. This choir brings together the strong choral music programs from both colleges to create an SATB choir, which is super passionate about making great music and creating an inspiring environment for all singers. They're directed by Michael Fletcher, and we'll hear them in Michael's own arrangement of Tom Lehrer's irreverent song, Poisoning Pigeons in the Park.
led the audition choir from Waikato Diocesan School in Hamilton. This choir is conducted by Maria Colvin and the pianist is Angela Smith. Tonight, they'll sing Ritmo by Dan Davison, featuring a four-hand piano accompaniment played by Angela Smith and Amy Yang, complemented by the choir's rhythmic body percussion. With its uplifting Spanish lyrics, Ritmo earnestly beckons all individuals to unite their voices in harmony, celebrating the profound joy, serenity and hope that music graciously bestows upon our lives, and aren't we seeing that over these last three days? Thank you, Bel Suono. Well, he does not a song, it's more. 
next choir tonight is Kentorus from St. Kentigan College. Kentorus, yes. supportive audience I've ever been in front of. You're wonderful. Kentoris is really grateful to have participated in the 2023 Big Sing finale and they're thankful to have had the opportunity to learn from this experience. This evening they will sing a lively piece inspired by the native music of Venezuela. Yo le canto todo el día. I sing to you all day long by David Bronner. The choir's vocal coach is Kate Weber. Their pianist is Juan Kim and they're directed by yeah, I think we're hearing Joanne Kim's name a lot tonight. And they're directed by Denzel Panama. Please welcome.
Alrighty, we are on our last choir of the Big Sing National Finale 2023. <laughs> from Tower College in Wellington. All the members of this, this choir also sing in the school's all-comers choir, the Dawn Chorus, as well as in one of the barbershop choruses. They're directed by Isaac Stone, and tonight they'll sing for us Water Fountain by Nathaniel Brenner and Meryl Garbus. Please welcome Blue Notes. <laughs>
that was a fabulous way to end a whole evening of wonderful choirs. I would now like to invite the choir directors and student representatives to come up on stage, as well as our adjudicators, Lauren Hane, Sileva Ngong Atau, Brent Stewart, and Atahua Papa. I'd also like to invite Beryl and Ron Emery of Tour Time, along with New Zealand Choral Federation Chair Warwick Harvey, NZCF Chief Executive Christine Argyle, NZCF Events Manager Emma Billings and Finale Coordinator John O'Palmer. Please come to the stage, you wonderful people. Now, Ehoama, something to tell you. You might have noticed on the back of your programs that the New Zealand Choral Federation will be hosting the 13th World Choir Games next July here in Tāmaki Makaurau. Wow. The World, Games Choir, the World Choir Games is the largest choral event on the planet. And just to give you an idea of what's in store next year, we've got a short video to watch while our guests are coming on the stage. Woohoo! Not sure if you'll be able to see it up the back. Here we go. like something to go to, right? I hope you're all there. So I'm now delighted to welcome NZCF Chair Warwick Harvey to say a few words on behalf of the New Zealand Coral Federation. Warwick. Nā mihi nui, Jennifer, and tēnā koutou katoa. On behalf of New Zealand Coral Federation, I would like to acknowledge all those people who made this possible. Firstly, our funders and sponsors who provided the financial resources that made this wonderful three days the wonderful three days it has been. Our principal funders, Creative New Zealand, the Ministry of Youth Development, our long-term sponsors, Tour Time, <laughs> new sponsors, Crombie Lockwood, our partners, Sounds and Trinity College London, and community trust funders, the Trillion Trust, the Lion Foundation, Pub Charity, Aotearoa Gaming Trust, the Trust Community Foundation, Freemasons Foundation, and New Zealand Community Trust. Can we please acknowledge their financial support? <laughs> now, when you sit out here uh, for three days and watch it all happen, it just runs smoothly. And it runs smoothly because there are a lot of people behind the scenes who made sure that that happened, and I'd like to um, acknowledge them. Our adjudicators, Lauren Hene, Saliva Angatao, Brent Stewart, and our Ahue Kore adjudicator, Ata Ahua Papa, staff of Auckland Live for all their assistance in hosting the event in the beautiful Auckland Town Hall, technical manager, Murray Cameron, Cameron The man in the black hat, our stage manager, Mark Betty. <laughs> Sam Nicholson for the brilliant slides he put together for the big screen.
JX Live and RNZ Concert for live streaming the whole event to the whole world. Tonight's compere, Jennifer Ward Leland, and all the superb daytime session compares. And the students, the choir directors, the school principals, the support staff, and parents who got you all here. And the NZCF staff, and this is all of them Christine Argyle, Anne Gibbard, Lisa Bates, Diane Cable, but especially. NZCF Events Manager Emma Billings for the tremendous job she has done in all the lead up to this event. <laughs> and last but not least, John O'Palmer and his wonderful committee and volunteers, especially Penny Christensen, Marianne Absalom, Evelyn Harvey, no relation, Olive Hardy, Letty, Olive Letty, Rowena Jane's Post, Shirley Harvey, and Judy Peace, and Judy, who kept the volunteers fed for three days. <laughs> Namihi nui to you all, and I'd like to ask Jono to come forward and accept the gift in appreciation. Warwick, thank you so much. It's uh, my great pleasure now to invite Lauren Hanna to speak on behalf of the adjudicators. Lauren. Kia ora. Kia ora every, everyone. It's been a marvellous three days. What a feast of choral music and such a wonderful spirited festival. We've so enjoyed your performances and we understand how much time and dedication, commitment from everyone. So first of all, congratulations to the choristers, the choir directors, the pianists, the vocal coaches, the extra instrumentalists, and the support staff in preparing these wonderful choirs for this culminating performance at the Big Sing Finale 2023. It's been incredible. Celeva Brent and I have so enjoyed your performances, and we've especially enjoyed seeing the variety of music presented, as well as the spirit of the, of the people in the room, the support they've given each other. It's been really inspiring to see the choirs who are competing with such determination, but support each other with such um, full-hearted um, spirit and bubbling enthusiasm. It's been wonderful, so thank you. As far as what we're looking for as adjudicators, we're looking for a quality choral sound with technical skill and artistry, but most importantly, a connection to the text that light in the eyes that we can see in all the singers, that they understand what they're singing and the context. So that has been something that we've really um, looked for. So I would like to say also that the standard of New Zealand secondary school choirs is extraordinary. And we can only dream of having such a standard in Australian schools, in secondary schools. And I, I say that quite genuinely, the depth of choral music here, the choral music culture, the quality of the choirs, but the depth of the standard is, is really wonderful. So you should be so proud of it. And I say congratulations and thank you. Namihi Lauren, thank you so much. All right, kuataki te wa, and now it's time for the awards. Each of the choirs will receive a gold, silver or bronze award for their overall performance 
of five pieces in the daytime sessions held over the past three days. So I'm going to read out the awards in alphabetical order by choir names. Okay, Corite. Our first choir is Altissimo Samuel Marsden Collegiate School, Wellington, and they are awarded a gold. is Bel Canto, Burnside High School, Otautahi, Christchurch, and they are awarded a gold. <laughs> Next we have Bel Suono from Waikato Diocesan School in Hamilton, and they are awarded a silver. Next we have the people who finished the show for us at Blue Notes from Tawa College in Wellington and they are awarded a gold. <laughs> Next we have Cantare from Westlake Girls High School in Auckland, and they are awarded a gold. <laughs> Our next choir is Correlation, Westlake Girls High School and Westlake Boys High School in Tamaki Makaurau. They are awarded a gold. Next we have Con Anima, St. Patrick's College in Wellington, they are awarded a bronze. <laughs> from Auckland, Euphony from Christen School are awarded a gold. Next choir is Femme, Southland Girls High School in Invercargill, and they are awarded a bronze. <laughs> Next we have Fortissimo from Dilworth School, they are awarded a silver. Gramophonics from Auckland Grammar School are awarded a bronze. <laughs> Kentoris from St Kentigan College are awarded a silver. Leonessa from Takapuna Grammar School in Tamaki Makaura are awarded a gold. <laughs> the 
Ngakori Mako from Wellington Girls College and Wellington College are awarded a silver. Paradisum from Epton Girls Grammar School in Auckland are awarded a gold. Next, we have Rafiti from Wellington East Girls College. Now, this choir was assessed as being a silver level, but unfortunately, uh, their recital ran over the maximum time limit, and they've been, they've been advised of this. So, in accordance with the rules of the competition, uh, Rafiti will receive a bronze award. Rafiti. <laughs> Next, we have resolutions from Rangiruru School in Christchurch. They are awarded a silver. <laughs> Rewaken Polycation Choir, Manurewa High School, are awarded a silver. Saints Alive from St. Right? Saints Alive from St. <laughs> Quiet, please. Saints Alive in St. Cuthbert's College, Auckland are awarded a gold. <laughs> St. Cecilia Singers, Diocesan School for Girls, Tamaki Makaurau, are awarded a gold. Takupuna Grammar School Choral, Takupuna Grammar School are awarded a silver. The Centennial Choir, Mount Albert Grammar School, are awarded a gold. Voces Luce, Queen Margaret College in Wellington, are awarded a silver. And our last prize for these choirs goes to uh, Voice Mail, Westlake Boys High School, Tamaki Makaurau, and they are awarded a gold. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, we have some special awards. Our first special award is the Awahikore Performance Award for the choir judged as having given the best total performance of a work using Māori text. This was adjudicated by our Tahua Papa, and I'll hand over to her now to share some thoughts with us before she tells us who the award goes to. Atahua, tēnā koe. E ngā mana, e ngā reo, e ngā karangatanga maha, kua hui hui mai nei i tēnei kaupapa tēnā tātou katoa. A ki ngā mana whenua o tēnei rohe, a ngā te whātua o rākei, ngā mana whenua katoa, tēnei ka mihi atu ki a koutou. It's not an easy job to be an adjudicator for any of these songs for the last three days, and I can um, quote my uh, colleagues here, but it's, also, it's very difficult to assess a, a work that's in te reo for groups that don't normally sing or speak the language. And so my hat goes off to all of you, the teachers, for all of the work that you have put in um, to make te reo an important part of your choir work, your choral work. Tēnei ka mihi atu ki a Some of the things that I look for, um, that we look for when we're um, listening to these works is te whakahua tika o te kupu, the correct pronunciation of the words. There's also a connection, again, uh, as Lauren said, an um, a, a indication that when you're singing the waiata, you know what you're singing about, and that it shows on your face, and it shows that your hand actions align with the kupu. So those are just some things to think about, uh, choir masters, specifically. Um, when, you're, when you're putting works on your, on your uh, students, um, for them to be able to give the best performance possible. But um, it wasn't an easy job. Uh, there were a few, we were tossing up, yes, no, yes, no. Um, it all comes down to timing. And so, the winner of the Oahi Kore Award for this year, for the Big Sing Finale 2023 is, oh, is, is this huge uh, kōwauau here, this, this Putori no Ite Timatanga Coalition. Next, we have the Hutt City Trophy. This is awarded to the choir that gave the best performance of a New Zealand or Pacifica composition. This will be presented by Siliva Ngaungatau, and the winner of the Hutt City Trophy for their performance of Eustace S by Kitty Milner is St. Cecilia Singers. is the Tour Time Cup for the best performance of an item in the art music category, and it's presented by Beryl and Ron Emery. This year, there has been a tie for this award. So the two winning schools will share the trophy for six months each. <laughs> now, can you just hold off until I've announced both names before you go crazy? Okay? The Tour Time Cup has been won by... Oh, hang in there, kids. Kantare for She Weeps Over Rahoon and the Centennial Choir for Dihei Thong.
Now we are at the Youth Ambassadors Award. Each year, the Finale Host Committee awards this trophy to the choir or school that the committee feels has best represented the spirit of the big sing. This is presented by the Finale Coordinator, John O'Palmer, and the winners are... Do you want to do a drum roll? Gramophonics. <laughs> This is such a great night. And now, we can't go out without a big sing. Our big sing choirs will join together in a massed item conducted by Artistic Director of Choirs Aotearoa. Hoi hoi, hoi hoi. By Artistic Director of Choirs Aotearoa and board member of the New Zealand Choral Federation, Dr. Karen Grills, with Juan Kim on the piano, David... <laughs> David Squire on the bass. And, and Jacob Moore on drums. And they'll perform I Sing Because I'm Happy, arranged by Rollo Dilworth, who will be coming to Auckland next month as guest presenter and conductor at NZCF's Choral Connect and sing Aotearoa festivals. After this, we're going to stand and sing the national anthem. Hoi hoi, e hoa ma, kia tau, kia tau. We'll stand to sing the national anthem, accompanied by Nicholas Forbes on the town hall organ, and we know how great that sounds. So, we have this, then we have the national anthem, and yeah, and then I'll come back to you. Kapai? Hey, go now.
fantastic end to the Big Sing 2023. Don't forget, you can watch the whole finale on the Big Sing YouTube channel, and it'll be broadcast on Music Alive at RNZ Concert at 8 p.m. on Friday, the 22nd of September. Now, ko oti a tato a tato mahi iti po nei nei ra ano aku mihi nui kia kaito kato i tato ko ai te kau papa nei me faka nui ka tika kinga tira waiata kato. Now, before we all try and leave this building at once, let's not. People on the bleachers, can you stay there until I know? But you have to. I know, but you have to because it's a health and safety thing. Kapai? Kapai. Okay, so we'll leave you there for the moment and then they can go out from there. Kapai. Okay, Pumari Huama. Kia homerete.